number 62 in the HMV premium range is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, a movie that I promised myself I would get to at some point, and that day is finally here. I managed to sit down and watch this movie and again, kicking myself, kicking myself that I haven't seen this earlier. We open up uh, to this wonderful world uh, with Dobbs our Humphrey Bogart character, who's down in his luck, who's struggling to make ends meet. Uh, it seems to be in Mexico, uh, around about that area. He's just struggling to get by. He's begging on the streets from other uh, American people to try and get enough money just to survive. And you get this idea of him traversing this world, this uh, little town that he's in, trying to make ends meet, trying to make friends, trying to find some way to get a foothold so that he can better himself. Early this afternoon I gave you money. While I was having my shoes polished, I gave you more money. Now you put the bite on me again. Do me a favour, will you? Go occasionally to somebody else. It's beginning to get tiresome. And he just can't seem to do it. And it's done in a kind of comedic fashion. He keeps asking for money from the same person without realising it. And it's just kind of funny that he does that. It's a, an interesting insight into the character to see how he's... Uh, trying to sell himself to other people and what he's doing with the money that he keeps getting from this one person. Pretty soon we get uh, the inclusion of Walter Houston's character uh, who is an old prospector they meet and we get uh, Tim Holt's character Curtin who gets um, brought in as well as both uh, Dobbs and Curtin get fleeced almost, taken for a ride by this guy who gets him to work for two weeks and then doesn't pay them and just kind of escapes. But at one point, these two guys end up with some money. They decide to get Howard and go prospecting, try to make their fortune. And this is when the movie really kicks into gear. When you see these guys at the start, you have a kind of vision of Howard watching these friends, people that are willing to share. They're, they're willing to share whatever they get. They're happy to work together. They just want to better their lives and then they get out into the desert following Howard as he leads them to a spot where they could possibly get rich. And they are trekking for days, you see the fatigue, they almost give up, they try and G each other forward, they eventually get to the point where they start to find gold. And this is the real crux of the movie. This is where you start to see how it warps and changes people, manipulating their thoughts and ultimately leads to the demise of their friendships, uh, their personalities, their goodwill. Well, there's no denying I put up the lion's share of the cash, is there? So you did, Dobbsy. And I always meant to pay you back. Yeah, in any civilized place, the biggest investor gets the biggest return, don't he? <laughs> and I really loved this, and I, I think uh, Humphrey Bogart does great because as a character as Dobbs, he starts off as someone that's really likable, and by the end of the movie, you are just angry with him you are upset, uh, or I was, I was angry, I was raging mad at the way this person had changed and how uh, a little bit of finances had suddenly, suddenly made him such an obnoxious and horrible character. But in the same vein, you have Curtin, who is a character that even though he, he's finding this money, it doesn't change him. If anything, it makes him a better character, the kind of antithesis of Dobbs as he's more giving, willing to look after other people, willing to share if need be. It doesn't bother him. It's He's happy to have enough to get by and live the left of his, his life. He's not greedy like Dobbs becomes. And even Howard, the old man, he, he kind of does the prospecting because it's his life, is not what he's known, but he's not looking to make a vast fortune. He just wants to get enough to live the rest of his life. And it's one shot wonderfully as we see these guys start to get the gold, as they start to measure it, as they start to keep their own and hide it, and start to become suspicious of each other. And I think that's really when the movie plays a lot with the psychological elements of these characters. Now, ultimately, the ending of the movie I was a little bit disappointed with because I was hoping it would go in a certain route um, and I really hoped that at least, uh, I'm not going to say anything in case you haven't seen it, but I really wanted there to be a more uplifting ending. It is uplifting to a certain degree, but I wanted more of that because 
I liked the characters. I liked the interactions between these three people. It was like a, a shorthand of watching a, a friend change over time. You know, you get to see the little cracks, the little uh, mistakes in the facade that they're putting up and then suddenly the real personality begins to come through and you realise that person wasn't whom you thought and it becomes a little bit more shocking. There's some wonderful action set pieces in this as well, some moments of real tension and suspense. There's one where a, a, another prospector stumbles across them and these guys are put in a horrible situation uh, of which Dobbs kind of leads towards the more antagonistic uh, element of that. You get a raid by bandits it becomes a gunfight it gets more exciting and, and and really kind of thrilling and you're wary for our characters there is a sense of dread all the way through this movie that gets increasingly more uh, pressure on me watching this one feeling as if it's going to end badly for all our characters and it ultimately doesn't play out the way i i was fully expecting it but to be honest, the performances were wonderful, the direction was great, and at just over two hours, um, it really kind of zipped by. It gave me a, an insight into a world, a time that was really interesting, the movie looked great, and it was thrilling to watch. One that I will absolutely go back and check out again. One that I cannot rave about highly enough. I can't believe it took me so long to check out this disc. I'd love to know your thoughts on it, if you've seen it or if you're going to check it out. Of course, there's some videos up here that you can click on to and check out more of my content. And as usual, hit the like and subscribe button if you feel I deserve it. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.